Hi guys, Dave here. I've been away for a while. Just been really busy. I uh, hope everybody's been keeping safe. Um, I was hoping for my first video uh, to be a positive one. Unfortunately, it's not. Um, I ordered the uh, Captain Cook two pound uh, silver proof uh, three coin set in 2018. I actually forgot I ordered it uh, until I saw Coin Pigs upload the other day. Uh, the coin came yesterday. Actually, quite happy to see it because I quite like the £2 silver proof too. They're quite a nice coin. There's a load of detail in there. The designs are good. Uh, I think the designer here has done a, an absolutely stunning job. Uh, but unfortunately, the quality issues on this coin that I've got is not very good. Uh, and what I'm going to show you today is what to look for. Um, unfortunately, I've had a numerous uh, issues lately. Uh, sadly, I've had to return to Strike in the Day uh, Brexit Sovereigns. Uh, for the same issue. Um, the Royal Mint are very good at giving refunds. Um, I don't want refunds. I just want a coin that doesn't have quality issues. Uh, and that's one of my frustrating things at the minute. Um, I had to return a 2019 gold proof 50p set, the one with the Kew Gardens in it. That went back. I got a re Fair enough, I got a refund, but it's not the case. So, um, Let's have a look at this, um, the third in the series of the Captain Cook. Design-wise, it's really nice. Um, and I still think, so, technically, uh, the uh, Silver Proof £2 coins, you know, I think when they're right, they, they, they're some of the nicest coins that the uh, Royal Mint produces. Uh, and they're not an expensive coin. Um, but starting down at the bottom here, there's definitely frosty missing right in the corner of the one, underside of the first seven, underside of the third seven, what, 25-2 on the O, quarter past there, as you go around, you know, the 20-20, you can see it there, it's missing. Quite a bit off the last oak. James, well, that's pathetic that the, the A and the M is very poor. Again, the inside of the A. I've also got a handling mark on this coin as well on the very front corner uh, of the bottom set. Uh, there's a flat spot where I'm just getting the reflections run through it there. Uh, there is a flat spot. That's, that's just been handled badly, that. Again, there's frosting missing on the front of the boat you can see the dark patches there's also frosting missing on the back of that little boat there it's hard to see there but it's definitely there when you're looking at the magnification <sighs> i just want this coin to be good and there's a tiny spot i mean this is being critical but there is a tiny spot just Next to her ear, uh, at pretty much, I'd say five, five past, above like the, the top part of her earring, there was a spot there. Uh, this is where I've had a lot of quality from my coin on the obverse. You just have a ragged look. Um, but there's a spot there. So I'm a bit disappointed, really. Um, I think taking nothing away from the designer, I think the designer's done a cracking job on the series. So let me know what you th what you think. If you've got one, is yours any better than mine? I am I being picky? But bearing in mind, I did comment on uh, Coin Pigs this morning. Uh, the Royal Mint are charging £67.50 for this, which is, I think it's okay. But bear in mind, it's only £4.88 worth of silver. Uh, and it is approved. So in my, in my opinion... 
uh, a proof should mean as good as they can make it. It should be absolute perfection. Um, so let me know your thoughts, folks. I will come back with some positive ones. I've got loads of videos to come. Uh, luckily, uh, I've got quite a, I've, since I've last uploaded, I've, I've added quite a lot of sovereigns to my collection. Uh, I think realistically, that's where I'm heading now. Um, I think when I ordered these back in 2018, I think my collecting was a bit all over the place. So I was just led around by what was popular at the time, being honest, uh, and ultimately buy what you like. And that's what I were doing. But I think there's some coins where I've bought and I've fantastically lost money. Uh, you know, these sort of two uh, silver proof two pounds, I'll never see my money uh, back on these uh, as long as I live. Uh, the premiums are just too high on these. Uh, but these have been nice to collect. Uh, I'm hoping to get this one replaced. And I will show it in the three coin set when it turns up. Uh, and I want to be, you know, in the next video I'll be showing on this. I want to be doing a, a global review of the Royal Mint. But, they, you know, I've, you've got to be fair. And you've got to show the coins you get in front of you. Whether it's good or bad or indifferent. Uh, it's very easy just to be positive all the time. But also where... Something is not right. You've got. To, we've all got to talk about it. Uh, but you can see there that that, that rub mark right in the centre, right in the bullseye now of the the cell. You can see the, the there's a handling mark there. It just it really gets on my goat. Uh, so I think these coins are nice. Uh, like I say, I will be concentrating on sovereigns going forward. I think there's there's some cracking historic uh, sovereigns which. Uh, I quite like uh, the sort of popular culture stuff now. I might just get the BUs, just the, the 10 quid BUs, just, just for fun. Uh, where I think the silver versions of them are, 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 are a whopping premium for what they actually are. But it's a shame, but these are attractive coins, the silver proofs, uh, the two pounds. So let me know your folks, let me know what you think. Am I being too fussy? Am I being precious? I'll see you later, folks. Set up.